Welcome back to the channel. What is up, you guys? Appreciate you guys tuning in today. Check it out. We got the Chevelle Frankenstein. We got the Frankenstein to work on today. Uh, we are going to hit some on the list. Another thing we got lying around here that's been sitting here. We got to get it on the car because we want to get the car to the shop where we're going to have some custom bumpers made for it. We got some custom bumpers. If you guys remember my rendering, if you guys remember my rendering that I showed you guys with the custom bumpers, we want to get those done and put on the car. Uh, but first, we want to hit up the front end. So that involves our condenser from Vintage Air. We got a condenser that we need to throw on the car on the front end before we kind of get that front end buttoned up with the grill, the bumper, bumper filler and stuff like that. So I want to show you guys the Vintage Air kit that I'm using. Um, I did order the one that does not have the AC compressor in it. Reason being because we have the Holly mid mount kit accessory kit that comes with its own compressor it's black it matches everything else so we're going to use that so we're not using theirs i did use theirs though on the red chevelle on the shake and bake chevelle it's a really nice kit still but we want to keep everything matching underneath so we will be using that one um another thing coming we are going to be hopefully recording that process or most of it when we get these bumpers put on on the chevelle Hopefully we can get that, get some footage on that. Um, let's walk you guys over to the Vintage Air Kit that I have. And let me show you what we're doing. I've already kind of started assembling it. I put together the lines and stuff like that. This detail, not so much in this video as far as detail goes, as far as how to do it. I'll try my best to keep you guys informed in anything I'm doing. Um, but I'm really trying to get this thing going just because this thing's been sitting around. And the goal is... To have this car ready to go by LS Fest 2020. So that doesn't give us a lot of time. We got a lot of things to do. But let's walk over here real quick and see what's going on. Look, my this is dedication. This is anti-hesitation. It's a real celebration. It's a dime block declaration. 59th and 5th Ave, granny house with vanilla wafers. It's the remedy to separation. Tupac of my generation. Blue pill in the fucking matrix. Red rose in the great pavement. Young black trapped and he can't change it. No, he a genius, he just can't claim it. Cause they left him no platforms to explain it. He frustrated so he get faded. All right, guys, so we got the condenser mounted. Um, so on these cars, at least from Vintage Air, they usually have you run a line from here through the core support on this side and then another one from here to this side for your uh, line that's going to come off your uh, AC unit, I guess you can call it, that goes back to the dash and stuff like that. As a matter of fact, let me show you guys what I'm talking about real quick. I'll even show you on the manual. I wish I had the other Chevelle here, the red one. I can show you guys on that one. That one's already done. But it's at the paint shop getting touched up. But let's walk over the manual real quick as you guys can see before we start on these. So... You look at the manual, like I said, you guys, if you guys end up doing this, you'll see it. You got one line that comes through here, which is this guy here. You see how it comes off the bottom of your uh, condenser and it goes through the core support. Same thing on this side, you have this line here and it goes through that side of the core support. So we have actually a few holes already there and we're going to see if those are going to work. If not, we're going to end up having to drill some new ones out. They give you all the lines you're going to need, so make sure you use those. Um, they don't have the O-rings yet, so make sure you put the O-rings on from the kit. Let's see what we can do. Let's, see what, let's not mock these up real quick. All right, guys, this is the shirt. You guys see it? Pro Torn in the front, right across the chest. This front of the shirt, if you guys like it, let me know. You said they are available. What y'all think? That's pretty badass, right? The Goose performance in the back, along with the Pro Touring Chevelle. You guys interested? Let me know. We'll get one out to you, okay? All right, you guys. Um, I got these kind of sitting in the place there. They're kind of mocked up. They're not really 
tighten down or anything else like that but you guys can see the reference i was talking about you come off of this guy here your dryer for this one and it'll come up and route and right through that hole there for this side and then for this one you guys can check it out right there come up through that hole there on the core support now i don't have them like i said i don't i don't have them snug or anything like that but i don't even have the o-rings in there yet so we got our o-rings here with our lube <laughs> lube where'd my other o-ring go see i guess i didn't bring the other o-ring we're missing one o-ring we'll go grab it from the stack of hardware over there these also come in the kit guys these grommets these grommets you can kind of put in there make sure you put these i like to kind of put these on the line itself and then feed the line in there and then put it through the on the hole it's just a grommet you know protect it whatever you want to call it keep the dirt and debris away you guys can run them if you really want to i'm going to go ahead and throw them on there to try to keep all the dirt and stuff out of the engine bay let's put these on real quick let me grab that o-ring and let's get this thing buttoned up for this uh video Somebody know you can't fail how long should i stay dedicated how long till opportunity meet preparation i need some real reparations or i run up in your bank just for recreation dedication hard work plus patience to some more of my sacrifice I'm doing all right guys we got we got this side tight here you guys are wondering what size these wrenches are it's a seven eighths and a three fourths seven eighths obviously on the bigger nut side three fourths three quarters on the pipe side here so now like you said we got this kind of lined up where we need it to be and then this grommet you can just kind of work in there now you hear what I've been saying, dedication, dedication. I spent my whole life thinking out the box Boxing homies, three on one, got DP, but I ain't dropped Chirp on me, here I come, brr, spin around the block They broke on me, said I ran a stop sign, but that's a lie I spent my whole life staring at the stage Playing Sega, daddy smoking We got them on Let's see, we got that bottom line on Right through there, you guys can see the grommets Like I said, you kind of have to work them Work them in there, just depending on how big you drill that hole out I had already did these a long time ago Pre-drilled these out like I said, they do come with like a little vintage air provides you a template, I guess, paper template. You can kind of use it. You can kind of measure it. You can mock it up. Do whatever you got to do to just mark your hole. But that's it right there. Grommet is in. And then up top here as well. This one took me a little longer. I think that hole was might have been a little smaller than the other side, but grommets in there like i said so there's no rubbing against the metal or anything like that it's in we just got to tighten this one up i didn't want to tighten it until i got it through here but we'll tighten that up and that basically is your ac condenser and yes you can run ac with turbos you know don't let nobody tell you you can't it is a little bit of a process and a pain in the butt and the pain is really depends on where you mount your intercooler is really where it comes down to because this kit from Vintage Air, they want you to mount it right where we did, you know, and if you put an intercooler right there, it's not going to happen. Um, I've seen people put the intercoolers um, just underneath in this area. I've seen them put them even lower than that. But in our case, for at least for this car, we got it to where it's basically right behind the condenser but that does also push your radiator forward you see how tight this is right here it's gonna be tight and we've had to kind of make um, a custom pipe that's gonna come here for the cold air and had to completely redo that because of the radiator being so close and for clearance issues but like I said you can run it you can run this AC condenser with turbos and an intercooler. So 
if you guys like this video let me know um we're gonna keep on probably with a couple more videos of this vintage air kit installation um nothing too crazy nothing too detailed but if you guys have any questions put them down in the comments below if you guys know of any better ways to do it i'm also open for suggestions appreciate you guys thank you for tuning into the channel keep wrenching